let's do a 30 day challenge. In 30 days, we're gonna make your blood pressure go down. Week number one, we're gonna discuss everything that you need to know about the diet. Week number two, we're gonna discuss all the things you need to know to reduce your stress, reduce anxiety, reduce cortisol levels, and help you so that you can lower your blood pressure. Week number three, we're gonna discuss everything you need to know about exercise. And week number four, we're gonna discuss how to manage your doctor rather than your doctor managing you as if you were just a bunch of numbers. So come back every day, take your blood pressure in the morning before you watch my videos, and let's monitor together to see if we can lower our blood pressure. Day nine. I hope today is gonna to be a transformational day for you. Um, for me personally, this took a lot of years to learn, and I feel as though, as soon as you say this, you don't have it. But I think I figured it out. Um, it's how to stop caring uh, to the point of destruction. It's a noble thing to care for people. It's a noble thing to bleed for people and stuff. But for the most part, you're the one that ends up suffering. And hear me out because I think I figured something out. Maybe 10 years from now, I'll say I was wrong. <laughs> but uh, I wish my kids could follow this, is how to stop caring so much that you are destroying yourself. And this took a lot of years for me personally because as a doctor of chiropractic, man, you wanna help people, you know? And I spent countless hours staring at the ceiling in the middle of the night trying to figure out, man, what, what do I do for this one patient? And, why can't I get that certain adjustment? And you know, where, where's their, basically where are their misalignments and what, what's the problem and why can't I get them better and things like this. And what I've learned to do is to care when I'm there. And then whew, it's just out of your mind. And so many people are, are caring so much about what happened in the past that it's, things they have no control over, right? And they have high blood pressure today because of, you know, shit that happened in the past that they have no control over. They, they have no ability to change. And that's not cool. Likewise, we worry so much about what's gonna happen in the future and what's it gonna be like in the future that we're getting blood pressure today high blood pressure because of shit that doesn't even happen yet. And so you just can't win. So what I've learned to do myself is I've learned to focus on now. Now is the important time. This is it. I can only worry about today. And it's not that I'm not a planner in the future for the future. It's that I let my wife do all the stressing about the future. I don't stress, or at least I say I don't, or at least I try not to, but I think I'm getting pretty good at it because I just don't, I don't care. I don't care. And so when I see a patient, when I walk into the room, I have 100% full, 100% attention on that patient. What can I do? What can I figure out today? How do I work on this? But the problem is, once I'm done with that patient, I have to go into another room to see a different patient. I can't be thinking about the other patient. It's, it, it clouds your mind, it clouds your judgment, and it clouds, clouds your physical abilities in how to feel where that, that spinal disorder or joint disorder is and how to do an adjustment. And I've, I've noticed that when I, when I focus and I'm, 100% attention, you know, they say 110%, 110% att attention on that patient, I get better adjustments, I get better results. More importantly than that, when I'm on my bike, I'm not thinking about chiropractic, and I'm not thinking about anything else other than, you know, not getting hit by a car, right? But I'm thinking about my workout. I'm, sometimes I, I don't even let my mind do anything, I just daydream. But I'm in the moment, and if you can figure out how to do this. And I, you know, everybody has their own journey, man. No, they don't. Everybody kind of think has the same journey is you got to figure out how to do this. 
I'll give you a suggestion. Um, and this is, this is something that may not be super popular with everyone, but whatever. It's YouTube. I can do whatever I want, right? Um, get the book. It's less than $10. Get the, get the actual physical book, because there's something about reading a book. Uh, it's written by Dale Carnegie, and uh, it's a book called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Man, buy that book. Read that book every night. Watch my videos first. Watch, watch the videos, and then read one chapter of that book, and start applying it to your own life. And if you think about it right now, what, what are you worried about? You're worried about the past. You're worried about now. You're worried about the future. That's it. That's no wonder we all have high blood pressure. But what if you can live a life where there just was no stress because you were living in the moment? That would be pretty cool. So I'll put a link in the description of uh, the book for you. If I forget to put the link, just remind me in the comments. And uh, let me know if you have any particular questions that you want addressed uh, during this 30-day challenge, and I will try to address those questions for you. So if you are curious if there are any natural solutions to lowering your blood pressure, there is. Probably the most effective one is magnesium. Any type of magnesium that you take will probably affect your blood pressure. Some will affect it more than others. Right now I'm going to list for you here a number of different magnesiums that you can possibly take. My advice would be to take them all, and there is a magnesium supplement called Magnesium Breakthrough. It's by a company named Bioptimizers, and they have all of these magnesiums in their own supplement. So it really takes the guesswork out of it. It'll help your heart, it'll help your sleep, it'll help your blood pressure, and it's one of the best magnesium supplements out on the market. They are the video sponsor for today, so I will put their link down below if you wanna look and see if that product would be good for you. But either way, one of the best things that you can do for your blood pressure is to take a magnesium supplement. If you have specific questions in regard to blood pressure, your own health and wellness, we actually do Zoom appointments as well as telephone appointments. We do these Zoom and telephone appointments from all around the world. So you're more than welcome to call our office, schedule an actual Zoom or a telephone consultation with me, and what we're gonna do is we are going to section off a piece of our day just to speak to you and answer all your questions. So if you're interested in that, there's a link down below. You can get to my website and then just contact us. Now there is a fee for a Zoom or telephone consultation, so it's not free, but I can promise you this, you're gonna get your money's worth.